was it may june 2018 for the mathematics paper 2. in this video we are going to solve this particular question but if you are looking for the complete solution in pdf format there's a link in the video description below just click it and it will take you to the page where you can download in pdf format so the position vectors of point p q and r with respect to the origin are 4i minus 5j i plus 3j and minus 5i plus 2j respectively if pqrm is a parallelogram find the position vector of m the magnitude of vector pm and pq then the acute angle between pm and pq all right to one that's my breeze now to see a clear picture you need to plot all the vectors so to plot a vector for i minus 5j we put four units in the i direction and negative five units in the j direction and that will give us this vector op to plot i plus j we go to remove one unit in the i direction and three units in the j direction and we get something like this vector oq then to plot minus 5i plus 2j minus 5 negative 5 units in the i direction and 2 units in the j direction and we get this so we need a fourth vector m so that pqrm will be a parallelogram so it can be somewhere over here somewhere here so we don't know the coordinates so let it be x y so this is our vector m o m position vector m that will make all these vectors be parallelogram so now let's connect all the tips of the vectors and we get something like this which is a parallelogram now we can use the properties of the parallelogram to determine the position vector om so we know that this is parallel to this and is equal so vector iq is equal to vector mp similarly you can use vector rm equal vector qp now based on this fact we know that this will give us oq minus or equal op minus om then we know the position vectors already oq op or and stuff so we just have them in this equation then solve for xi plus yj because that is the position vector that we chose for m so that happens we are making or we are simplifying the vectors to obtain something like this so we obtain our xi plus yj to be equal to minus 2i minus 6j which implies that x equal minus 2 and y equal minus 6 and the position vector om is minus 2i minus 6j now we need to determine the magnitude of pm and pq so we know the coordinates already so we can use that to determine the magnitude of pm so you know this is p coordinates 4 negative 5 and m coordinates negative 2 negative 6 so 4 minus minus 2 r squared plus minus 5 minus minus 6 r squared and when we simplify this we get 37 units now we need to determine the magnitude of pq we can use a similar approach so we know the magnitude we know the coordinates of p and q already so 4 minus 1 all squared plus minus 5 minus 3 all squared and that will give us root 73 
Now we need to find the acute angle between PM and PQ. Correct to two to correct to one there's my place. So if the horizontal vector if the resultant vector is R and the angle between PM and PQ is theta, then we can apply the cosine rule on this triangle and PQ to determine this over here. So applying the cosine rule, you're going to get R squared equal as magnitude of R squared equal magnitude of PQ squared and plus magnitude of PM squared minus 2 times the product, the cosine of this angle, which is cos theta. So we need to determine the magnitude of R, and that will give us this root 90. So we just use the coordinates to determine the magnitude of R, which is the resultant vector. Now, applying the cosine rule, we get this relation root 90 squared equal root 73 squared plus root 37 squared minus twice their product then cosine of the angle between the two vectors now we simplify this to obtain cos theta equal 0 0.1924 then theta will be equal to 78.9 degrees to one decimal place so once again, the complete solution is available in PDF format in the video description below. And also be expecting more of the solutions from OAC May June 2018, Federal Mathematics Paper 2. Don't forget to subscribe so that if I upload my next video, you'll be notified and you can watch.